Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Whoa. you already know we in the building, this Southside Rabbi, and we're back in the person that I have next to me yes, on my left. Let me tell you something. Oh my goodness. In this world, there is a list of artists that you can think of uh-huh. that are just amazing. That's right. That's Michelangelo. Yeah. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. That's right. That's right. Beethoven. Mm-hmm. Vincent Van Gogh. Mm-hmm. Now, he had a little, I mean, he might have cut off his ear. Yes. And, you know, arguably tried to give it to his friend. He had some mental issues. He, there was but some the mental man issues. was nice with a paintbrush, man. He was nice with the pen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, you think about uh, other artists. I would even mention Kanye West. Now, yes. Hold up. I know it's a little controversial. <laughs> the man is, I don't know what he's what he's, what he's he's doing, what he has against he's our figured, Jewish brothers He's right figuring now. some stuff out. I mean, to the point that he was scaring Alex Jones. <laughs> Alex Jones was like, yo, my man. Alex Jones was trying to say, you don't really mean that, do you? He was like, no, I I do. He didn't double down. He quadrupled down. <laughs> but there are certain artists, and also, not to mention Juvenile, who put it down for the 9-9 and the 2000. You have to, please. So there's artists that you have to list when you're thinking about some of the greatest artists of our time. Greatness. And of, since the world has been turning. Yes. One of those people. Yes. Has to be. Yes. Lecrae. Lecrae. And, it, and yeah. there's no debate. It's, it's not. Yes. Because he has more awards than you have money, and you got an award for every bump on your face. <laughs> Ow, loud. And, 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 and if you have acne, That's right. then it should really stand out. So it really shows you how many awards yeah, he has. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking Grammys, Dove, Stellars, I, BET, I, Music I Award, everything is seven Ega. Everything is seven Ega. Red Snack Shack Award. Yeah, yes, every, bro. Any Raise award boom, that you can boom, think boom, of. Race Boom Boom yes. Award. When Martin was talking about that, the music that he was thinking about when it's playing in Raise Boom Boom Room on Life. Was Lecrae. Lecrae's it was Church Close Volume 4 was playing Absolutely. in the background. Absolutely. Boom, boom, boom. Absolutely. And so not that, to also not, not to mention New York Times bestseller. Oh. Author. The, I, when you're so brilliant that colleges me. come together and they say, hey, excuse me, sir, where did you get your PhD from? And you'd be like, I don't have a PhD. They said, you do now. You do. Here you go. Honorary. Here you go. Brilliant. Honorary. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. Well, they, well, they, well, they pay you. When, you didn't pay for the PhD. We need you to be a PhD coming that's from right. this, this, this place. That's right. It's actually an act of justice. Listen, we're not even going to give you honorary. Because it's an injustice You're, that you don't have a doctor We're going to let in your you name. enroll and you don't even have to show up to the classes. Absolutely, We brother. will just pass it's, you on through like you are a football player at FIU. <laughs> we will pass you on through. <laughs> Down. That's all. All we just we just need you to say that this is where you came from. <laughs> That's it. You got to show up for the exam or nothing. Nothing, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> So that's what I'm, I'm talking about. If you get your Lexum Bibles dictionary, you look up 116 oh, in that mug, man. it's going to be a picture of Lecrae there yes. with your Bible because you don't read it enough. That's right. So how does Lecrae read your Bible more than you read your Bible? <laughs> God didn't give me the brain cells to figure that out. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that is the truth. It is the truth. The person that we're talking about is nothing, no one other. Yes. And Lecrae, ladies and gentlemen, give my house. man the you goat one time. Yeah, yeah. too good at this. <laughs> Y'all were made for this. This is that oh was a hey, bro. <laughs> and, and 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 in all the brilliance of what we just experienced oh. from our man, it still falls short <sighs> to the goat that sits to my right. Oh my man, and my hurts. left. My and I mean, <laughs> Amen, oh, bro. My Welcome, God. my guy. It's oh. an honor. I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, we're glad to have I'm a you, fan. bro. You know what I'm saying? Thank I'm, you, sir. I'm definitely a fan. This is amazing, mm. man. Thank you, sir. My face hurts, bro. You wow, I'm bro. I'm laughing. That's so, the goal. So we already had like two podcast episododes in the lobby uh, here yeah. at the offices before we even started this. So Rich, hopefully there's man. something else left to talk I about. Know. But we were content to <laughs> right. leave it where it was. At that. But yeah. we want to serve our audience with uh, the mind of, of the man himself. Um, so... We gonna hop right into this, brother. Hop in it, and we gonna talk about some of the stuff that we talked about out in the yeah. lobby, if we can. Yeah, you know me, I'm an open book. Uh, I have, if you, you know, I've always said that I'm, I'm in debt to crazy. Um, I am. Uh, I still remember the day uh, that the Cray uh, found us. Uh, it was HGA. He said that he was traveling around. The nation, people kept saying, you got, you got to check out this dude, KB. You got to take, check out HGA. Something's happened in Tampa. He was like, everybody says I need to check out everybody. He, like, but it was too consistent. 
Mm-hmm. People were sending you links, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. When YouTube just started, we didn't uh-huh. even have a YouTube account. Oh, yeah. We had like 15 YouTube videos up. God. Yeah, bro. Speak. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Crazy. That is crazy. Somebody was taking videos and uploading them, and then they just kept bothering. I mean, just kept sending it to Lecrae and, and folks at Reach. Crazy. I just thought about it. You know, my first YouTube account's handle is 116 click, and I, I think that y'all even hit me up for that mug, and I never gave it up. For real? <laughs> I still got that bug to this day. Sorry, go ahead. Dang. I'm sorry. Fun fact. I wow. would have just gave that you over to y'all. I didn't, even, I didn't wow. even think about that. Said, let's talk numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you held on to that property till it was worth something. That's what you did. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Is it still oh, for sale? Snap. You, would you put it up for sale now? I would give it for free, man. Nah, just because of one more, what, 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 what happened. Yeah. You know. But anyways, uh, Creasy uh, came to Tampa mm-hmm. and uh, Pastor Tommy... Uh, mm-hmm. Was uh, is at Crossover Community Church. Shout out Pastor Tommy. Shout out to Pastor oh. Tommy. He was doing what was called Flavor Fest. Yeah. Um, Flavor Fest is uh, is still running to this day. Yeah. Powerful Christian hip hop. One of the only Christian hip hop festivals yeah. in the world. And uh, they had booked Lecrae. Lecrae shot me an email. I thought it was a joke at first. I like, this can't be Lecrae. Mm-hmm. But I got an email saying, hey, I'm coming to Tampa. I want to meet. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, how, how do we know this isn't spam? We literally wow. put this mug up on a, like in a PowerPoint presentation. Here are the reasons why this might be true. This <laughs> might be him. <laughs> and here are the reasons why it might not. But it was Cray. And uh, Creasy came down and then Pastor Tommy set things up in such a way that before Cray went on stage, mm. uh, he had us perform. Mm-hmm. So, and, and there was no other, there's nothing else going on. Uh, we had like a 15-minute set, so Cray had to sit back and watch our show. I Pastor Tommy did that intentionally. Yeah, he did it intentionally. Bless his heart. Yeah, God bless That's you, dope. Pastor. I yeah. am here That's today really dope. because yeah. of Kingdom Kanani. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so Cray watched the show. He was encouraged by it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was his reaction. And uh, we started to build and... Uh, he sent Ben Washer and all of his glory, wisdom, and whiteness <laughs> all the way to Saint, Southside St. Saint Petersburg, Florida. Yep. Uh, ben Washer flew down. I'm, oh, he I'm, came I'm, to the Southside. Oh, side. he came to the, to, the, to the gutter, bro. I don't think I remember that. My, wow. my, my uncle was on, on, on the porch outside, probably smoking a black and mild dog. That's amazing. Ben Washer walked up and sh- put his hand out to shake my Uncle Sam. Which God uncle? bless his soul, Sam. He's, oh, he's, he's okay. Yes, I remember Uncle he Sam. Put his, he put his hand out to shake Sam's hand. Uh, Sam doesn't like white people. Yeah, Sam, no, Sam, no. Sam just probably looked at Sam him. Sam looked at him and nodded, bro. It was, <laughs> yes, bro. I wonder if he remembers I this. <laughs> I see. I see. I, see. I, see. I ain't got no money for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I apologize. I mean, I'm sorry for that, man. But uh, we, we came came down to the gutter and uh, we, we went out and um, and before I knew it, by God's grace, uh, I was I was with Reach Records, mm. and uh, I was just telling Crazy before this that I am a child of the movement. Everything that I have Crazy. built, uh, everything that um, that that uh, I have become by God's grace has been facilitated mm-hmm. uh, by the work of the Fellowship of the Unashamed. So Amen. I'm in, t- in, in forever uh, in debt um, to Lecrae. Now, with that being said. Crazy. Yes, sir. You just dropped an album. I did. In that album, yes. uh, you have banger after banger after oh, yes. banger, which oh, is man. nothing that we want to uh, just wink at. Okay? No, okay? But absolutely we have, not. But we have to because it's too much to talk about. Right. Yeah. My favorite song on the record is Deconstruction. Mm. It's Deconstruction. Mm. Uh, I got emotional the first time I heard it. Yes, mm. likewise. Um, uh, most uh, people who uh, have lived through, if you made it out of 2020, uh, you have some kind of relationship with that concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk to us about mm. Lecrae, who deconstructed yeah. and reconstructed. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I think. I think. First of all, the term. Deconstruction is is a very weighted term, right? So right. I think a lot of people have there, there's obviously the way it's been used, kind of in a lot of circles, is been where people are saying I I can do away with the faith altogether, yeah. and then kind of build uh, without necessarily needing a foundation. Mm. And I and I would and I would say that is. Um, not a healthy deconstruction. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. Um, I think deconstruction is something that I mean people have been doing for 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 centuries. You sure. know what I mean? It's like Jesus honestly 
made people deconstruct. Sure, you know, sure. where mm-hmm. you were having to tear yeah. down the belief system that you had. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And he said, You've heard it said. Yep. But I say, mm-hmm. yes. so on, let sir. me there tear down what you've built Come yes. on, sir. and build something different for you. So, but he was always in the business of reconstructing as he deconstructed. Absolutely. So I, I do think there's a that's a healthy deconstruction. And um, a healthy one is where you are not saying, hey, this is... A lot of times we say, oh, well, what the Bible says, like that's not what the Bible says. That's what your perception of the Bible says. Yes, just your interpretation. So, <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Yes. So I, I needed to do that. Um I, I think, you know, if, if anybody, if, if you've been under a rock or you didn't know my story or whatever, yeah. um, I I got saved um, predominantly uh, uh, African-American cultural context. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, but then some of my leaders started to dabble in, in like dispensational teaching from like Dallas Theological Seminary, which, yeah. mm-hmm. which opened the door for reformed, um, you know, Calvinism. Uh, right, and, right. And so, which for me is, is I just want to be a Bible believing Christian. That's right. End of the day. Yeah. Uh, but then what happened for me is what I began to learn is that a lot of the voices in some of the theological circles that I were in um, did not understand what it was like to be a black person in America, yes. a person of color in America. Yes. Yes. Right, right. But they were... Well, a lot would say that it doesn't matter that right. you are black. That's, that's exactly true. What yeah. It, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's no utility. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. And and so, uh, which um, that's a good <laughs> put, a, put a pin in right there. Right, right, right. right. Um, but yeah, basically, long story short, I had held these thinkers and teachers in such high regard. Sure. Mm-hmm. And when they had disregard for what I was experiencing and what I was wrestling with in terms of um, unarmed black people being killed yeah. and mm-hmm. some of the cultural nuances that I think they just weren't paying attention to. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I was distraught. Yes. And I was like, man, if 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 these people can't see what I'm talking about, if they're willing to throw me away for the pain that I'm going through, mm-hmm. maybe what they believe is not mm-hmm. legit. Maybe I maybe what are they right about? Sure. Yeah, right. You know? Mm-hmm. And then of course, being a being a sinner, of course, you know, already I, I was like, there, there's your flesh is is hungering. For freedom to well shoot, let's be free then. Forget their shackles. Yeah. You know, man, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, shoot, I've been I've been wanting to watch rated R movies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So <laughs> shoot. This is oh my, my, God. my shot. This is my time to go. Um but yeah, so so there's a mix of that. Um and what I think <clears throat> re- could, like like so so a deconstruction took place where I really did not think that there was a God, but I didn't need to believe in Jesus. He believed in me. Mm-hmm. God did. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and man, I was sealed with the spirit of promise and there's nothing I could do to shake it. Let's Oof, go, sir. Amen. You know, the holy hound of heaven just kept hunting me. And as Psalm 23 said, goodness and mercy will pursue you all the days of your life. That, yeah. that word pursue, radap in Hebrew, uh-huh. is to hunt. Yeah. And so... His goodness and mercy just kept hunting me down, man. Yeah, right. I couldn't run from God, and it led me to a place where I felt like, man, I, I God. I remember opening up the Bible after just going through a dark season, and I remember reading Jesus after Peter had just blew it. Yeah, and he says, "Do you love me? Well, then feed my sheep." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "God, you're talking to me." Mm, wow. Broke me, cried, mm. and uh, began a process of just rebuilding. Um, from a from a more Eastern context, because yeah. it took a long time for me to like be able to hear a Western perspective on Scripture. Sure, sure, took sure. A, took years actually. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do do you, I remember that um, Anthony Bradley tweeted? I was mm-hmm. trying to find the tweet, but I can't find it. He tweeted mm-hmm. one time. This must have been two thousand fifteen. Mm-hmm. Wow. He tweeted that the face of evangelicalism mm-hmm. is a black man named Lecrae. Yeah. I, rem- he, I remember. Do you remember when he said that? I remember that. that. <laughs> what did that make you feel? Man, I, it, it wasn't just him. That was the crazy part about it because I remember doing an interview with the Washington Post as well and they were like, I, I think at that point in time, there was no visible leader anymore mm. right i think driscoll had gone through his uh, ordeal right yeah. right right um and it's like the you know the pipers and kellers are older and yeah, they're yeah, yeah. like man who's the young face and yeah. and i remember even some people saying i i think it needs to be a multicultural face you know it's like yeah mm. i don't know why but you know 
Um, it's hip. It's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. just the thing. It's sexy. And so they were positioning me to be that. And wow. I, I don't think I would have had a problem with it except for the fact that I did not realize um, that evangelicalism and politics were so Ooh. intrinsically linked. Yes, yes. And I was starting to see that, and I that was like, "That caught what? us all, all by surprise." Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. caught everybody by surprise. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. So I was like, "Wait, yeah. wait, wait a minute." So this is because because when Washington Post article, it was like tied in because I think you know you're coming up on a political season, right. And yeah. All these particular right. things, and right. I was like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait! Time out! Wait a minute! What's going on here?" Um, and I kind of shot away from it, and I remember Christina Cleveland said I was a mascot for white oh, evangelicals. Oh, wow. So, no, you did. So it was just, I remember that article. I was like, how? I don't, I, know, yes. I don't know how I feel about that. Yes. So it was a it was a weird space. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It was a weird time. Man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's funny that you say that, because yeah. that article, I remember where, where I was when I read it. I was like in a Starbucks, and I read it on my phone, and I think I remember reading her say that, and I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Even when I read, I was like, "Goodness gracious, yeah. this is a little." <clears throat> and I, but it's it's funny that you said that though about the that incestuous relationship between evangelicalism and politics because mm -hmm. that was again our experience too, right? right, right we mm -hmm. talked about that in our CRT episode that when 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 Trayvon Martin was killed, yeah, which was closest closer to us because he was in yeah, Sanford right here, in bro. Orlando, yeah. yeah. Um, wow, I was I was like, man, this is. Everyone was like, this is crazy yeah. that mm. this happened right. to this kid. And then after that, when Mike Brown happened, I remember thinking, oh, well, we were all up in arms about what happened in Ferguson. I was like, all of our evangelical leaders are clearly going to come out and yes. feel exactly how we yes. feel about this. That's how I thought. Because they feel I the same way, way about Dude. us with everything else. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yes. I, that's exactly, exactly how I was. So I remember when, I see. Yes. <laughs> when that happened, I remember watching watching CNN and all of us talking about it at church and talking about how crazy this was. And I was like, obviously, all of our favorite theologians and all of them are going to come out and say, this is horrible, this stuff that happens with black people when it comes to police brutality. Right. And I was like, Fully expecting that. Yep. Yes, yes. And then when I saw that everybody started saying, y'all sound like Marxists. Man. And like, then when I started all, saying, Carl, and I was like, Marx? who is this yes, guy? Yes, I remember I was like, I was like, first of all, John Marx. Luke. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Mark? <laughs> right. Mark. Yeah, I know Mark. Mark. Yeah, I know Mark. <laughs> um, if you're talking about Marcus on 57, <laughs> who be selling that loud, I know him too. <laughs> so, but when they were saying Marxism, and I, I, I was like, Marx. What? How are they tying us to Karl Marx? Yeah, like right. communism? communism? Like what are, you, what are you talking about? And then that's when I was like, oh! And then they all started saying stuff like that. Right. And then I started saying. Then they were talking about neo Marxism, and I was like, and then they started calling us liberals, yes. and I was like, oh, is this a political? Yes. yes. And that's what I started. I said, hold on, is this political? Yeah. And then I was confused, and yep. I was like, hold on, why is it? Why are we being separated and divided into these political camps? Why is all of our favorite theologians now calling us liberals and Marxists. Yes. And that's when I was like, oh, there is a political link here yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. that has been here and I it was, did it not was, recognize it. it. We did I was not, late we, to the imperceptible. party. I didn't know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, oh, Falwell, Falwell, the religious right. Yeah. Abortion being the... Uh, the uh, that the, wedge issue. The wedge. Of, yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, this was all like propagated. <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Sure. So we're... And, and I didn't know that. So it's, it's kind of like, it was us. crazy because it... It forced dyads. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like, and 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 you know, it's like Christina Cleveland talks about how Paul spoke to this polarized nation during his time, where it was yeah. kind of like the Jew and the Gentile, sure. mm -hmm. and and related it to to now. We're such a polarized nation where you have to be a Democrat or Republican. You you're a Northerner or a Southerner. That's you're right. East Ooh. Coast or you're West Coast. Right. Yeah. And and we just live in this this polarized, like, reality. And sure. I I had no perception of politics. Politics man. was not even a... It wasn't a thing, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. So I didn't know I had, uh, you know, chosen a side without realizing I had chosen a yes. side. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it was crazy. It, it feels like in some ways, um, that wasn't perceptive to us. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, but as, the, as, as the story goes, it mm -hmm. was... Very much perceptive to them. Yes. Right. So right. The yes. evangelical superstructure. Right. Uh, 
Oh, gonna get you for that, oh for that Marxism. 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 Language so superstructure. Evangelical proletariat. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm saying <laughs> the bourgeoisie <laughs> and the bourgeoisie. <laughs> but anyways, uh, there, there is a a structure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That, that is propped up by all kinds of institutions. I would call it an evangelical industrial complex. There you it's, go. It's industrial complex. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, and and. And, and, a, and a lot of stuff in the complex is, is beautiful. I mean, that's where music is there. Absolutely. A lot of the books that we write, uh, the conferences, all, Absolutely. all that kind of stuff. Yep. But Not they have bad. faces as well. There, yeah. are, there are individuals that are sort of like ambassadors yep. for. Yes. Yep. And those ambassadors, in a lot of ways, it feels like, mm -hmm. the structure or the, 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 the complex mm -hmm. feels like they control them. Ooh. Yes. yes. So, so when Lecrae... Because mm -hmm. I also want you... if I don't know what came... The, the, the Christian rapper or rapper that's Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, where did that happen in this story? Because I and, and, and mm, let me let me that's good. That's let, let me I, I want you to speak to that because as the the challenges have been many and we and and and, and we'll, we'll we'll talk through some of that because mm. I want to hear we want to hear more of your story. Mm. If y'all have not read Cray's books, man, um, slap yourself. Are, <laughs> Seven times is number of completion. <laughs> After that, uh, go find, ahead. find yourself a hyssop branch. Yes, yes. purge yourself That's with that right. mud. That's right. Yeah. And uh, then go and buy it. They are fantastic. Yeah. And 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 you get to to, to the ways and you get to see the man behind the man. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. But one of the things that I've appreciated about you, whether I agree with it or not, mm -hmm. is that you will not be controlled. Yeah. And it, and it feels like Yeah, right. <laughs> it feels like you at some point when in in both conversations mm -hmm. the uh with 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 you kind of real, being the face of evangelicalism mm -hmm. and then all of the things that are that come along with that package that we weren't aware of right. but you're still expected to abide by. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you didn't right, know, right, right, but right. now you do. Right. Yeah. Now get yep. out there and, and tell and people to vote. This right. <laughs> Republican. Right. Um mm -hmm. And then there's also, but we want we want to think of you as a certain kind of artist with a certain kind of that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At what point did you feel like, yo, this is me? They are trying to make me a puppet, a mascot. Right. I said that in the book. Like, like, oh, sorry, shouting out my own book. No, well, you should. Oh uh, yes, as you should. Go get it, please. Yes, please. But mascot <laughs> Christianity. That's such a good word because yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm. Is a mascot for the public for, for the civil civic religion that is called the, the Christian yeah. that we call Christianity. Right. Yep. But how mascots work is mascots don't make any difference. They, they are they there Ooh. at Ooh. Yeah. mascots are there. And they, <laughs> and they also don't have a voice. They, they, they don't Ooh. speak. They, don't, they, they, don't. they are an exaggeration of a real thing. A caricature. Caricature. They are yep. a caricature Ooh. of an actual thing. Yep. Yeah. They don't come into the locker room at halftime yep. and and, and, Ooh, and you then you know what I'm saying? They represent the team. The team doesn't represent the mascot. Exactly. It's still, it's still, it's still, when you yeah. start whatever in, in the concept above the meta narrative above all of this is yeah, yeah 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 you were asked to be the mascot right. What what point did it did it feel like did, was it clear to you that you were trying to be controlled and talk us through some of the ways in which yeah you had you you kind of had to shake that off. Mm. That's really good. That's a great question. I think that <clears throat> so the. The reality is, as with any movement, right, there is, of course, a, a, some sense of healthy uh, core value or resistance that's necessary. But, right, right. but the human element is always going to be present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for me, there was a healthy resistance to... Um, being controlled, yes. Uh -huh. uh, being put in a a category that I did not feel like fully articulated the nuanced, dynamic sure. person made in the image of God. Sure, right, sure. right. But I'm also human. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. And so I'm not I, a caricature. I'm not a caricature. <laughs> right. And, but but then there's also elements of my own insecurities, right, mm. and trauma that's mixed in there. Sure, sure. sure. So I, I can think of the first instance of wrestling with that was. Um, you know, being a young artist uh, and and loving cross movement. If you're mm -hmm. not familiar with cross movement, then you know, do your diligence. Slap yourself seven times you and go. then purge yourself with hyssop, <laughs> <laughs> sackcloth, and ashes. Like um, but but you know, brilliant young, talented, um, articulate rappers who 
I just patterned myself after sure, in sure. so many ways. But as I began to mature, I saw like, oh, there, I am not a carbon copy of them. Mm-hmm. And I and there's some areas of my life that need to be fleshed out in different ways as an artist. Sure. And so when people would try to put me in a box that they belonged in, I was like, no, 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 let me out. Yeah. And as time progressed and I began to receive some accolades in um the mainstream culture and yeah. context yeah it was like yes this is what i've been wanting as a believer and what i've been wanting as an insecure little kid oh yeah 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 yeah. right so it's a dangerous mix yeah there. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this dangerous mix right wow. so there is there's a justification for saying no i'm not a christian rapper because of course i was they were the NBA players were saying Christian rap is corny and gospel where they threw my CD on the ground and just like they yes. did and all this type of stuff, yes. you know? So there's justification in that, but then right. there's also insecurity that that helps fuel that flame sure, as sure. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's always going to be the case. So even in the situation where... Well said. Um, <clears throat> people are saying, you know... Uh, you're a mascot for evangelicalism. Yeah. I'm like, no, I am not. Mm-hmm. And... I'm also deeply concerned about what my black brothers and sisters are going to think about this and my mother who was raised by the Black Panthers. Like, ah, I'm, not, I'm not a sellout. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. I'm right. down. Yeah. I'm black, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm black, 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 y'all. Black, y'all. Black, 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 y'all. Yeah, bro. Yes. So, I yeah. So, I'm, I'm yeah. dancing. Yeah. You know, so, it's part of why I grew my, my hair out. Yeah. So, you know oh, yeah. It's yeah. Like, I mean, so yeah. I just need to remind myself. Right. To remind that myself. I'm in this space right. yes. Yes. as me and all of me. Exactly. Yeah. And man. all my Negrotis. <laughs> and brother. Yes. So, right. there's there's that element. And, I, and, and, man, my white brothers and sisters do not know that wrestle, that dichotomous mm. struggle. Yeah. Of, of like... Because they they have never double had to double, double consciousness. Conscious, they've never had to struggle with that. Ha- yeah. trying to have a double consciousness, yeah. right? And so what I was running up against was people challenging my orthodoxy. Yep, fine, fine. Let me show you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doctrines of grace, of course. Yeah, come on, what, what are we talking about? Right, like let's walk down come the on, line, man. Uh-huh. Right, let's right. walk down the line. Right, yeah. right. So then it was challenging. My orthopraxy. Uh-huh. Right, right. And it was like, no, 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 no. I'm walking this out. Yes. Yes. Straight up. The, Absolutely. You come show me where I'm not, yeah. and I will willingly, you, you know, uh, submit to the scriptures in right. this particular area. But what I realized was, though they were so concerned with my orthopraxy and my orthodoxy, they were not concerned with orthopathy. Come on, yes, sir. There was no up. heart language, no concern for what I was experiencing in yes. this double consciousness and this struggle yeah. and the trauma that I had endured over the years. And I didn't even have language for it. Mm. And so that put me in this unique position where man, I could, I was gonna constantly let people down, but no one could resonate with that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Like you're the mascot, be the mascot. And yeah. it's like, I've never been, no one's ever been here. Yeah, right, yeah, sure. right. No one's ever done this. Yes, right. right. What do I do? Right. I don't sure. shut up and do it the right way. Follow the <laughs> Bible, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you don't open that first Corinthians <laughs> chapter three, boy. <laughs> that boy sounded like Major A. Shut up and do it the right that way, boy. Shut boy. up, boy. Uh, boy, you know what the Bible <laughs> says, boy. You better do it right, boy. Boy, that's why I can't stand you, boy. <laughs> With your wide nose, is breathing up all the white man's hair. Oh, that was well, hold, hold on, Pastor. Sorry, God's hair. Yeah, God's it's hair. God's <laughs> hair. Rewind, rewind. Oh. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. I'm we sorry, don't, I'm we sorry. We can't. We can't. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I gotta do, boy? Get your watermelon, some chicken, no, boy. Go ahead. Stop it, bro. I'm sorry. That mug went down, bro. Oh, my hey, God. I'm not going That's what I heard in that boy, though. When oh, I, when dude. I heard, do it right, boy. Do it. Do it. All I heard was I, uh, Tyrone Biggums, bro. That's all I heard, boy. What <laughs> we got to do to your people, boy? Okay. Oh, shit. Know how many examples we got to give you, boy, then you better listen. Oh, my oh, stomach my hurts. God. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. My people got some of the greatest theologians <laughs> on God's green earth, boy. Yo, but Kessa, Kessa, all got, Kessa boy. was saying that. Yo, Kessa no, was saying I that. literally, people have given me that argument. Yes. Do you know what Europe has done for Christianity yeah, when it yeah, comes yeah. to theology? I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But, but, oh, but go at ahead, the same sorry. time, do you know anything about what uh, uh, Asia has done for right. yes. Christianity? No, oh, right. you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. Why well, don't you? Maybe there's a <laughs> right. reason why. Or there's some some of y'all do know some of it, but it doesn't even resonate to y'all yeah. that 
Augustine and Athanasius and all of these folks are not European. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, for no, sure. No, no, so no. y'all talk about this in y'all seminaries, but yeah, right, y'all don't right. actually pause there and say, wait a minute, let us actually consider what this means. What does oh, it yeah. mean? Yeah. How yeah. does he show up to the Council of Nicaea yeah, yeah. with all of this uh with with with, with all this ability to be able to debate and reason oh, theology? Man. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Where does that where'd that come from? Yeah, yeah Maybe some sure. of the folks before him that were yeah. doing this all right. But absolutely you know, no, I'm with you. Shout out to yeah. my man Vince Bantu. Oh yes, Vince Bantu. Shout out to Vince Bantu. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. But That's powerful. I, I, I um, the orthopathos is um an important point. Mm. Yes. Um, because <clears throat> what we can agree on mm -hmm. is that if you got to this conversation, the situation around what black and brown people are feeling in this country mm -hmm. through the news, you know, uh -huh. or, or, or maybe. Mm -hmm. You got to it through Oof. tweets. Yeah. Or, yeah. But if you didn't going. get to it through tears, Oof. then your, your, the, the way that you think about it is going to be completely different. colored. So yes. Different. Let me give you an example of this, bro. That's good. So at uh, Reach Records, and, uh, and, and let's be clear, you know, Christian hip hop is still yet to become a technical genre. There's not That's enough cool. right. institution right. To, yeah. to really qualified as yeah. such. Yeah. Uh, but it is a movement. Yes. That's right. Without a doubt. Absolutely. It was a movement. Uh, one of the things that we did early on at Reach Records mm -hmm. is we were leaning into biblical masculinity before it was cool. Man. Oh, yeah. Before it was before it was sexy. Before Absolutely. it was the, the manosphere for Andrew Tate. Before it became toxic. <laughs> yeah. Before that mug became toxic. toxic. I was about to yeah. say, don't put me in yeah, tight the same. That mug became toxic really fast. When I'm it, when sorry. The, uh, I got a show of Romania coming up. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's <laughs> right, brother. I just, you have to disavow. You showed up to look around. You connected to this? I disavowed. Yeah. I heard something about Andrew Tate. Yeah. Listen, so y'all we were doing this before him. Oh, yeah. I mean, in, sin, in, in the sense of a interest in what it means to, to be, be masculine. masculine. Right, absolutely. Yeah. The manosphere has taken that way too oh, yeah. far. And perverted you it. can't even say masculinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Cuss that's word. Exactly For real. Yeah. Right. I even have to qualify right. what I mean exactly. when I say masculinity. Yeah. 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 Uh, even when I say biblical masculinity. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Because let's not make any mistakes here. Andrew Tate believes a lot that he's teaching biblical masculinity. A lot of the manosphere Sheesh. dudes do. They quote yes. scripture and everything. Often. Out, out of context and wrongly. Absolutely. But yeah, they follow do it. it up with, with the sex trafficking. They, they say it. You know, we're going to stand up well, for women. That's says, where it leads to. And this is why a white woman should let me have seven wives. Yes, right. That's where it leads to. <laughs> yeah. It's but anyways, before uh, it, it was in vogue, right. mm -hmm. uh, we, we were... And, and and the fruit was undeniable. Oh my gosh! Mm. We, we had the, the, uh, Reach did an entire curriculum. Yep. yep, yep there was yep. a movie. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, there was a tour, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and then there was an album. They yep. all right. supported this idea of what it meant to be a man. Amen. Right. One of the uh, songs that we did, which me and Cray probably I, I miss me for myself. Yeah, we probably wouldn't make that song today. <laughs> but we 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 made it back back in the day out of innocence. Uh huh. Uh, this song called Authority. Oh, yeah. Remember that joint? Uh, authority. They vowed, bow, down, bow, down. I remember authority. that. And the heart of the song was that, th that's, what, that's what the hook is. Fo if, you can, if you do not learn to follow, right. you can never leave. That's right. It yeah. was an, uh, an appropriate song for where we were doing ministry. Right. We were doing <clears throat> ministry in JDC, JDC's yes. prison. Yeah. It was All a, of our tours yeah. were, 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 were hood. Were, the, the Fatherless hood environment. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, and, and you, and you have a bunch of people that, that do not see the, the pathway to leadership is through, through a, 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 a way serving and right. being able to follow. Right. You can't become an authority if you don't submit to an authority. Exactly. Right. I got to submit to the authority of college to become an authority uh, on a subject. Ooh, that's Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that you become a tyrant. Yeah. And I, and we, we put that, we, and, and so it was very, very helpful. And again, the fruit has been undeniable. Yep. I, and mm. there are, in fact, I'm thinking about a brother right now who, who, to, you know, is uh, owns two businesses. Uh, uh, is a you know walk with the Lord <laughs> in a sincere way. Has raised a family. Uh, has uh, uh, basically came from Southside St. Petersburg mm. with nothing. Orphan. He was a literal orphan. Yeah, Fatherless literal. dude mm. that is mm -hmm. is a, a is a monster in of industry. Um, and man up. Yeah. was one of the most impactful projects yep. on his, that, 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 uh, that, that he would credit for the success that he has in right. his life. Right, crazy. absolutely. When we were making that album, though, but when we put the album out, mm -hmm. I, I want to say it was I was leaving the tour yeah. 
if I wasn't leaving the tour that we did, it was on a tour we did shortly after that. Mm-hmm. And I got to the airport and uh, I had this, uh, I used to do this thing. It was, it was a little cheesy, but I had like this little thing that in a moment I could like, the fire started. The fire thing. That yes. was hard, though, yeah, at the time. At the chill. time, it was hard. Right now, that mug is... You can't do that now. <laughs> oh, you can't do that show. today. I know, I remember... It's yeah. unacceptable today. It's, it's very you, got, you got LED screens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got LEDs yeah, yeah. now, baby. You're in the promised land. Moving right. on up. But I used to, like, um, at one point in the song, the, the, everything would go dark, and then I could, like, hit the... It looks like a lighter, mm-hmm. and you, you flip yep. it, and a burst of fire would come through, through, throughout your uh, from your hand. It was, mm-hmm. was kind of just like a magic trick. Yeah. In fact, I got it from a magic store. Yeah. Um, I had that in my backpack going through security. Mm. And uh, the TSA folks saw it and freaked out. They said, what is this? And I said, well, it's, it's just a lighters. You can bring lighters through... Uh, yeah. Through, uh, yeah. Through, through through security. So this is this is the same thing as a lighter. Yeah. It literally, it's the same components of a lighter. Uh, they said, "Well, we don't really know what this is. We haven't seen this before. We're we're, we're going to have the 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 tam- the um, airport police come check it out." Mm. Man, this police officer came up to me, and I, I, it's like he saw I had keys of cocaine strapped on my chest oh, through yeah. my shirt. Man, yeah. And he was talking down to me. He was barking at me. Yeah. Um, Telling me to get like uh, you know, telling me to stand here, then here, mm. just so that he can uh, sort of flex his flex his authority right. over me. Ooh right, wee. yeah, man. Ooh wee. and uh, <clears throat> and he started taking this contraband report on me. I said, "This is not contraband." He said, "We're going to do a contraband report. Answer my questions." I said, "Okay." He said, uh, "He said, you know, name, height, <clears throat> you know, weight, all that kind of stuff." And he says, "Do you have any tattoos?" And I said, "Yeah, I have one tattoo." He said, "What is it?" I said, I have 116 tattooed on, on the back of my arm. He said, 116. I said, yeah, yeah, 116. He said, hold on up. Isn't that that, that, that like Christian rap thing, like the Romans 116? I said, yes, for I'm unashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God and the salvation of all those who believe. He said, oh, wow. He said, that's awesome. Are you, are you a part of that? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> He said, oh, man, he started talking about how he had a friend that put him onto it and how powerful it was. I'm sure he was referencing you and what mm-hmm. you might mean for his kids. Attitude completely Shifted. changed. Yeah. Wow. I was no longer mm. this threat. I became humanized. I became a minister in wow. his eyes. Yeah, it's like, I didn't yeah. have the courage to say it, but it was, in, it was on the tip of my tongue. I didn't have the courage to say it. I'm not going to be dishonest. But what I want to say is I, I want to say, you know, we just put an album out where we, in a roundabout way, encourage people to be um, conducive with authority, Mm -hmm. even government authority, because God put that there. And it is people like you that undo our work mm. because how can we tell them to submit That's so to tyranny? Good. That's crazy. It was, it was, I had the whole thing worked out. It was in my brain, but I didn't have the courage to say it. And, the, and the, it, it was so diffused after the 116 thing came right, up. Right, right. But that was the first time I noticed Mm. That I think we're saying different things. Ooh. What I am saying wow. when I say bow down to authority and you can follow, you can never lead means something very different wow. from a, a large portion of our audience. What they see it, they, they see it as, and God, Piper's my God. I love Piper. I For still, sure. I still listen to him to this day. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I think Piper tweeted something one time that got down to that. He was trying to make a point about how if you've been forgiven. There's no guilt. You don't have to worry about God's law mm-hmm. like coming to drag you down. <clears throat> right. And he used police as an analogy. He said, um, you don't get nervous when there are blue and red lights behind you when you know you've committed no crimes. He yeah. tweeted that. Yeah. And it was like, oh, you don't get nervous. He's got blind spots. That's right. Yeah, he's blind got blind spots. spots. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Cultural blind spots. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's, and that's what I, you know, and I, um, that's what I found for a season is I had cultural blind spots. Right. And but mm-hmm. but there's a a will I think probably because of the double consciousness we're willing to acknowledge that we have cultural biases because we need to survive yes, yes. we have yes. to oh wait what what don't I know about this yeah. right what do I not wait a minute it demands humility exactly right, right. exactly right. Yes. whereas uh, majority cultures mm-hmm. do not need to examine their 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 cultural blind spots right they don't because they w- because it's not conducive to their survival to, to survival yeah. Right. 
Pharaoh didn't need to examine his cultural blind spots. Yes. That's why he argued with Moses over and over again. Yes. It's like, what are you talking about? I'm, I, you know who I am. Right, right. <laughs> what do you got? I and, got that too. Right. <laughs> and why he could manipulate Moses. Hey, pray for us that this thing goes away. Yeah. And I'll let y'all go. And I'll let yeah, you go. And then, yeah. and, then, and, then, and then it subsides and it's like right back to yeah, where y'all were. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You know this saying? is where you're supposed to be within society. Ooh. This is where you belong. I, there's no other way to see this. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And so, you know, I, I think that's a, that's a man. I, Here's, here's one thing I would say, just as an exhortation to you, yeah. is the fact that, like, the way you put together in your mind what you should have said but didn't say, yeah. you need to say because most people would not have put that together. Yes. Mm, most, you're right. That most is, people would not absolutely have. Sure. And I'm not saying you necessarily needed to say it to him in that moment, but I'm saying the world needs to hear. Because I don't know if you Amen. even see the, the unique gift that you have mm. in, in being able to, like, intellectually bring lofty things together yes. and then articulate them. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's a that's a very unique gift. Sure. Like acad academics, mm -hmm. in my mind, mm -hmm. academics, um, you know, they 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 speak through an inverted megaphone. Uh, oh, that's true. On. They just say a <laughs> yes. whole bunch of stuff. Yep. It's like only this much is gonna yeah, work. That's, that's, that's true. Well, I don't know what that's the very heck true. you just said. <laughs> very true. I think you're gifted at turning that megaphone the opposite direction yeah, man, and being bro. able to say a, wow. a lot of in, incredible things and it it hits people in a like broadly. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. So, Amen. I appreciate that, man. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. For sure, for sure, for sure. No, I, I um and, and Cray and I have had more heart to hearts than uh than 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 you can imagine. And a lot of times I have I've had to come back and say, you know, I I, I believed that I was somehow immune mm. right, mm. to the things that you say you were wrestling with. Ooh. And and it, it it and and I never I've because I've always Which I actually feel like a lot of Lecrae's critics think that about themselves though, too. Oh, I, boy. I, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I was I believed it about myself. Sure, right, right. Yeah, so yeah, it's, so it's, it's in there. So all yeah, of us yeah. have been there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. i but I also like the the way that the blacks, the, uh, the, the black situation. Oh, I was, about, I, was, I was about to say, where are you going? Sorry. Is this going? The blacks. It's so funny. I was reading. I'm looking I, by African American over there. Isn't he so happy? You know what? That's where I thought she was getting ready to go with that bug. I started laughing because I was thinking about uh, just the phrase, the black situation. It yeah, just yeah, sounded yeah. funny to me. Uh, oh, about, yeah. I, was, I forget who I was reading that they kept. That's what they just referred to. Mm -hmm. The black situation. <laughs> but the black situation does demand a kind of sobriety. Yeah, where you, yeah, yeah. you have to sit back and say, yes. Because if I don't know this blind spots new nuances, oh, yeah. yes. if I don't understand what the other side is seeing when they look at me, cost me my life. I could die. Yeah, I could right. lose a job. I could not that's get right. a loan. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I could not get a job. Absolutely. I, you know, it, it, it's something even as small as many of our mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, Lecrae and Tadashi's parents didn't care, but uh, <laughs> but they gave us names like Kevin, Kevin. and John. Man, my, your my, parents, my, your my parents, parents didn't care. care. When I go said, through TSA, I hope they think that you was when born I in this go long. through TSA, they're like, "Sir, <laughs> come this way. Please just <laughs> take your hoodie off." And you, you see what you have, have the nerve to grow your beard out. I know, bro. Sitting on here, you're doing this, this to yourself. Name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least move to the northeast <laughs> where it's common. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's 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 being cognizant of those of, of those ways in yeah. which. Yeah. You know, I'm we're, I'm trying to pad the existence for you so that you might survive. That's right. Because I think without, in that way, we benefit from uh -huh. being able to be more nuanced. Mm, and, yes. And and I and I and what I noticed in my own life is that uh, as I've gotten older, as I as I've matured, mm -hmm. um, I have I've been able to see that my the 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 grip of which I hold what it is that I believe how mm -hmm. tight that grip is is to my sort of. Um, my doctrine, mm. uh, I cannot have a similar grip with the way in which I love, understand, Boy. have compassion, That's and good. associate with people. That's good. I can't That's have so it, I, it can't be one to one. You're right. right. Because but I was taught that, crazy. Yes. I was taught that the strength of your grip on your orthodoxy yep. is who you reject. Who you who who you'll call out? Yeah, who right. you don't stand with? That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. Uh, this, you're not allowed to have in house. There, there were com conversations about 
as we're wrestling through who we are in this world, that's, that needs to be done publicly so you can show fealty to your side, or right. you don't truly hold right. your, your, your orthodoxy. Right. Yeah. And that, in a lot of ways, has caused me to actually sit down with Cray on multiple occasions and say, brother, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah. There's also things, and we talked about this a little bit before we started this podcast, there are also things that are more important than convincing you that I think you're wrong. Or yeah. you... There are things that are more important than you agreeing with me right. that you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I felt that I, I got to spend time with a friend of mine who I've been friends with for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Um, I love this person. Um, with my, I, I'd, I'd give anything mm-hmm. to them. Mm-hmm. I'd give a kidney. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and we theologically have drifted in two different directions. I'm right. somewhere that this person is not. Right. And, uh, and I hadn't seen them for a while. And I, and I got to uh, go spend some time with them about a week ago. And the moment I saw this person, I realized that what we have in our humanity, <clears throat> that, we, yeah. that, that, that when I'm suffering, when, I'm, when I am crying out, when the weight of the world is about to crush me, mm. in those moments... I'm not looking for who is the most theologically, socially, culturally, who's black enough, evangelical enough, woke enough, who's who's right. political. I, all that stuff is peripheral yep. right. at best. Right. Yeah, right. I just want to know who it's is compassionate, going to man. be there for me. Yes, love, love, love. love. yes, man. If I have not love, what do I have? What, what do, do I have? What do I have? And that's and that's the key. Yeah, I if think, I don't have love, what do I have? Yeah, yeah for because sure. love is not the same thing as just holding to. Theological positions yes. or actions. Right, right. Paul says in that mug, if I gave my body up to be burned at the stake, yep. if I became a martyr for the faith and I don't have love, yep. I am nothing, nothing is what yeah, he bro. says, yeah, bro. Absolutely. Yep. absolutely. If I know all mysteries, all uh, stuff that angels don't know, if I speak in all tongues, yep. yes. that covers the gambit of everything in which we think we need right. yep. in order to be considered, like approved, stamped right. as right. the right. most solid biblical. Christian that you can think of. Right. You know what killed that for me personally is is failure. Ooh. Right? Because when you I, I mean, I was a I was a, a staunch legalist, mm-hmm. a masochist, uh, yeah. uh, 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 a doctrinal uh watchdog, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a yeah. polemic uh, uh, <laughs> predator, uh-huh. <laughs> you know. What I'm, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And nothing is more humbling than failure. Ooh. Nothing's more humbling than realizing that you didn't live up to the very standard that you have set up for everyone else around you. Ooh. And when you have to look at yourself in the mirror and decide, like, oh my gosh. Can God still love me? Ooh. Can he still forgive me? Does he still embrace me? Wow. How dare I not extend that same love and grace Come to on, other sir. people? I Lord. think that's part of the problem for us is that we have an expectation of people to be God, and God doesn't have that expectation wow. of us. Wow. Yes. Right? Wow. So it's like, we want you to be God. Yes, yes. Be perfect. Yes. And if we can't look at ourselves and see where we fall short, it's going to be very difficult to extend grace and love to other people. That changed everything. Ooh. Yes. That's like, powerful. That's good. Literally right. everything. Yeah. yeah. Me having to wrestle through because since since you know all of the despair and discouragement and depression that I experienced in 2018, you know, my mental health is way more fragile than it's than it's been. Like yeah. it, right. now I have a gentle mental. That's yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like <laughs> um but what it's done for me, and I relate to my brother Trip Lee more than I ever did. Ooh. Right? Because Trip has a chronic illness. Yes. Right, right. And so now on bad mental health days, I pray for Trip. I text Trip something that's encouraging me. Yeah. Because yeah. I recognize and realize, like, oh, I'm weak too. Yeah. Where, where I thought I could not be weak, I am actually weak. Oh my yep. gosh. Yes. And now it helps me to relate. And and the 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 story that really rocks me or that that I, I often yes, share is that, you know, um, I the top of the theological mountain mm-hmm. and, and all these beliefs and views, and then I go through failure and I I go through forgiveness and therapy, and now I'm at a place where I am I'm struggling emotionally, 
and I'm noticing that God has healed me. But what I was able to do through the suffering that I experienced was I was able to empathize in a way I had never been able wow. to do. Yeah. Right? Yes. So I'll never forget being at, I had a show at Universal Studios and a group of um, young girls mm -hmm. and their mother came up and they and they they were smiling. They took the pictures yeah. and then the mother said, thank you so much. Their father just passed um, mm -hmm. six months ago. Mm -hmm. And I said, stop. Because all I saw them do was laugh and take a picture. Uh -huh. And I brought them over to me and I put my arms around them and I began to pray for them yeah. and articulate the things that I wanted God to do in their lives. They all broke, mm, right? Wow. They're all bro broken and crying, but I would not have seen them wow. had I not gone through what I had gone through. Man. I would have took my picture, sent them on their way. Right. But that, that failure, that brokenness, that re re realization that I'm not the standard in a real way, because we can say it. Yeah, theoretically. Yeah, yeah theoretically. Yes. We can yeah. theologize oh, it every day. Oh, my gosh. We're good at that. Yeah. Right. I ain't the standard at all. Yeah. You know? For sure. <laughs> sure, absolutely. But until but you live, live that, that reality out, it's why I believe Paul and Peter were so powerful is because Paul was like, yo, I killed Christians. Right. Yeah. yeah bro. The grace that's been extended Come me. On, oh, my sir. gosh. Are you serious yeah. right now? Right, right. If I have love, I have not. I have no legs to stand yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's where our planes got to land, man. That's good, bro. Yeah. yeah. It, it almost... Speak. Mm. Can you really know grace if you've only theologized it? You only did Bible right. studies on it. You have to experience you, you need, it. You, 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 gotta, you, you gotta need yeah. it. Talk that. Yeah. If, if you don't need it, if you haven't really needed it, then you, you don't... This is why our, our pastor mm. um, advocates for people that step into pastoral ministries that they first need to live a little bit. That's right. right. Before, that's right. before you take this on, yeah. that's right. You know, the, you know, won't you wait till you're 30 at least? Yep. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't do this fresh out of high school. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because you need to live, you need to live a little bit. Right. Right. And 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 in and, and all these ways, I have I have seen that in my I, I hate to keep making this about my, my own life, but uh I resonate Dangerous with Jesus what you're saying. Out now. Dangerous Jesus out now. <laughs> Make sure Easy. Go get that. Single out Church right clothes, now. four tours. <laughs> popping. Uh, popping. Get your tickets now. Yeah. No, I, I, I have realized that a lot of what I've talked about has been theoretical. Mm. You know, you say stuff like God Ooh. will forgive anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. yeah. like, like God, Nothing God that will, you have done that God that right. you can't come back from. That's right. right. That's right. But can Jeffrey Dahmer be saved? All right. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Hold, hold on, on now. King. Hey, now. Because yeah. when wait, he wait. starts doing an interview about <laughs> hey, how now. God hey, seems now. to get a hold of his heart, everybody's like, oh, he's just manipulating Did everybody. Did you see the documentary? Yeah. I said, yeah. Did you see the movie? Did you see the interview? Yeah, Come on now. Saying. He oh, says, yeah. 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 That's, that's true, though. Yeah, that's right. So there was the series, and then there's also the actual and, interview. And then there's the actual that's interview right. of him Is saying- there a world- yeah. yeah, where he could- Or, let me put it to you like this. Is it- Can a minister of the gospel fall? The other thing, too, bro, is that- what we have seen mm -hmm. uh, is basically two extremes of, of, of church restoration, and they, 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 they are both terrible. That's and right. one, Pastor Fell last, last Sunday, and he back in the pool big this Sunday. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly the right. The other is, one of the leaders fell, and we take that. And when I say fall, it don't even, I'm thinking about there's somebody in my mind right now that just got a divorce, bro. They yeah. got a divorce, and it was not their fault. They were yeah. left uh -huh. by their non-believing spouse. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Wow. And they became unusable. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Throw you away. Throw you away. We have yeah. buried so many. And then brag right. about Driscoll was bragging about burying people. Yep. I remember. You know what I'm saying? I remember. And there's basically there's the two approaches to yeah. this to, to the situation. Yep. We don't have because yeah. we are not a people that can kind of talk about grace and its power. Mm. And then but because we are we are we are manifestations. We we are we are the fruit of that. And I'm not right. saying that everybody needs to to, to, to have a, 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 a right. wipeout. Right. God right. forbid. Right. But what I'm saying is for those who do. For those who do, and for all of us who are who are falling forward. That's right. 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 Ooh, we know grace because we needed it. Yeah. That's right. And, 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 and I want to extend it because it is why I'm here. That's right. right. That's right. And I That's think right. that God will, especially as you get older, uh -huh. and people start turning their back on you. And your kids aren't listening to you like the ways in which you imagine they would. And and and, and you're experiencing church hurt and Ooh, burnout. Right. And all these things are and, and then your brain, oh, your brain is starting to break on you. Boy, right. Me and me and Craig were talking about that here earlier. Boy. There are things that I could, bro, I could, I could do 200 shows straight. Yep. 
sleep for 30 minutes, and then preach on Sunday. Right. In I, my 20s. I wish I would try to do that. Too. Man. Man. I, I, I sleep on the wrong side for too Man. long. <laughs> you get up. <laughs> I eat some cheese I before mean, I go to bed. Sh- that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I said, I eat some cheese, boy. I don't know who I am boy, in the I morning. wake up looking like Pookie off of New Jack City, That's right. boy. That's right. We I'm need, a mess. Yes. I know Grace because I've experienced. All right. Uh, let, let, I want to have this conversation before we get off. Uh, yeah. Crazy. Sorry. No. Off. You are the most famous person I've ever met in my life. Um, wow. And, and also, in terms that I need, to, that I can, that I, person I can call friend, that I can call, um, that I've cried with and, and confided in, confessed things to. Um, talk to us a little bit about... The way Joe Ro- Joe Rogan put it, mm. uh, you know what? I'm gonna be super transparent. Come on, hold on to your butt. This is Southside Rabbi, baby. If you can't be I've transparent, I've been doing this here, for a long time. Not as long as Chris. Long time. Long, but I've been I've been out here. I, you know, I my you know what Drake said. He said my my know, first yeah. contract came through a fax. And that's uh-huh. a fact. Yeah. That's how long. I, I probably only got you by like five years. Yeah, yeah you're right, bro. Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So you you've been here for a minute. I have been in front of large crowds uh, and. Uh, Early last year, we did. Uh, I, Craig, I think you've done this this event too. We did uh, uh, Rio, um, where they do Rock in Rio, where that mm-hmm. that mad like half a million people there, or a million people on the beach. Yeah. So we did this thing there, um, and our, our huge audience on the beach, crazy production. Passion is the Super Bowl of Christian yeah. ministry. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Their team is the the, the, the greatest, um, and uh, doing shows with them. Um, it's like, like I, you know, it feels like this is the zenith. Like this is yeah. the, this is the, the, the apex of this. That's part. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've done my dopest shows already. Yeah, right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, I've never gotten off stage and felt like, wow, <clears throat> that felt good. In that, it felt good if it went well. Right. But it right. felt good as in like, I want to experience that again. Mm. Moving a crowd of sixty thousand people. Mm. Hands up. I have never. I to me, I have felt very. I I think. I, I I felt like most of the time I felt disconnected from people try to, you know, tell me that I'm famous or ask me yeah. for pictures and stuff like that. I, and I, I think it's a joke. It's like a joke on you. Like, right, you right. realize that I, I'm just uh, a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No questions asked. We just did the Glory Nights tour. And it was my first headline tour um, in, in, in three years. Mm-hmm. And um and, and the tour went pretty well. It, 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 it went was a success. It, it went pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when it was over, and mind you, I had done forty billion shows last year. Yeah. I found myself feeling something I never felt before. Mm. Where, yeah, being able to draw a crowd, mm-hmm. which is all—I mean, that's the hardest thing. For an artist, I mean that's your market value. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to be able to say a thousand people will come see me. That's right. right. Yeah. That to, that 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 to me is far more uh, impactful than a Grammy. Like that right. that mm. to, to be able to have a mark like to get that. And I I started to feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm I'm arriving, mm. and it scared me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and. I, I I I confided in in, in I mean um but actually you know have been praying about it and uh decided to to take some significant time off the road mm-hmm. yeah. to chase the root of that what, that what is. is that is yeah, yeah. all that, is. that to say mm-hmm. fame is a drug boy Stunning. it's a drug and no body is immune to the highs it gives you mm mm it, it, it nobody is immune to the ways it manipulates your, your your mind, your body, your sight. Yeah. Uh Craig, uh, Craig, please, just and from your own life and just from your perspective, talk to us a little bit about fame. Oof. How you've kind of dealt with it. Maybe a little bit of a warning and exhortation in there as well would Ooh, be good. Yeah. good. Um <clears throat> that's really good. I, I think that um a lot of, I mean, what is fame? At the end of the day, fame is the acknowledgement of what is seemingly great about you yeah. by other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and so I think... Well said. Um, it's good. I think in the, the, the root of the issue there, the root of the problem 
is that at our core, every human being knows they are imperfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every human being knows they're flawed. They wake up and see their flaws on a regular basis. Right. Yeah. We do our best to put our fig leaves on mm-hmm. every day. Say that. Mm-hmm. And, and so other people cannot see mm. our flaws. Right. But don't let people not only not see your flaws, but believe that you are greater than Ooh. you actually are. Wow, come on, Ooh. sir. And, um, and therein lies the dopamine. Mm. Therein lies the, like, they see me yeah. as something, as somebody. Yeah. I have meaning, and that's all we want. Mm. We want meaning, value, purpose, identity, yeah. like... And yes, we know what the scripture says. We know that God has made us you know, with infinite value and purpose and worth. Right. But the tangibility of that, oh man, your hands on it. What? It's something. Yeah. And 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 you're never gonna be content because there's always going to be people around you to compare yourself to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have to be the only person on the planet <laughs> right. to, to, to be content. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's always going to be someone to compare yourself to. If you right. got all, if there's only God, then you're like, oh, no, I ain't got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I ain't got it. Yeah, yeah. Right. But when you find yourself to be the best bucket drummer uh-huh. in the city of Tampa, uh-huh. right, right, you're like, oh, I'm that guy. guy. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one does it like, like me. Right, right, right. Until, Until you go to New York. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're on the streets of New York. City, oh my gosh. Yes. And you're like, shoot. <laughs> I'm ah. not the best bucket drummer. <laughs> right. And because so much of your identity, knowingly or unknowingly, had been shaped by being the best bucket drummer for so long, um, you're now fighting to make sure that you can ascend that height sure. in another space and place. Right, and that's right. where the drug kicks in because you mm. want the dopamine you had in Tampa in New York City. Ooh. And then you don't get it. Or you do get it. And it's like, yes, I still matter. Right. I still have value. And it, it doesn't shock me that you could be gone for three years and then stand in front of a crowd and... And and there's people there, and they love what you're doing. It doesn't shock me because for three years, unconsciously, you may have been wondering, do I still matter? Oh, do people still value me? Is right. my voice yeah. still a voice that will be heard? Yeah. And man, man, there's just been so many times in my life where I have forgotten that my purpose was received, not achieved. Oh, so many man. times I just for, I've just forgotten that. So Powerful cry. I remember, I mean, you got, oh my God, I came off of the number one album in the country, mm-hmm. Anomaly. Mm-hmm. Right. You would think, all right, you did it. Right. You're good. Yeah, my guy. No, because, because you've done that. Ooh. You now have to either maintain that Ooh, or go higher. higher. Yeah. Wow. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo. It could almost feel like a curse. Yeah. 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 What Drake said, uh, he said, Nike doesn't pay me to just do it. Yeah. yeah they it pay, pay me it. to show you that I can do it again. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's what he said. it. Yeah. Yep. So there, therein lies the struggle. And I think it, it's, it's an emptiness. It's what Solomon, it's what Ecclesiastes Ooh. raves on about. It's like, he knew it. And we just need to take, I, I tell all my young artists out there, like, there's nothing there. There's Ooh. nothing there. I Ooh. promise you. It's yes. a mist. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You're chasing, you're feasting on the wind. Wow. That's really what, try to eat wind and get full. Right. It's never going to happen. Oof. And so you're just feasting on the wind, trying to get full. You would, you, I mean, whatever you, your, your vice is, if it's drugs, how many drug addicts have you ever seen that said, now I've got enough? Never. Ooh. I'm never. so never. Never. I'm high as I ever need never, to be. Yeah. <laughs> they don't ever quit and say, I quit because I had the best that's high of my life. life. That's not and that's all works. I needed. Yeah. It never uh, yeah. works. Yeah. I mean, so that you have you would have to sleep with every woman in the world right. to, to be like, I did it. Yeah. And even then that wouldn't even Right. But but that's humanly impossible. Yeah, right, right, you couldn't right. do so it. So you're chasing nothing. Yeah. Man. You're literally chasing. And that's what fame is. Is I had to realize I was chasing nothing. And I had a moment, and you being transparent. I remember when when I was about to drop Restoration, I remember being in the shower before the album came out, crying, mm. literally in tears, yeah. crying because I could not get out of my heart that I wanted this album to do well. 
Wow. Mm. And 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 for the re- and not for the right reason. Right, 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 right. Lord, not let this album do well for the sake of those who would hear this truth. Yeah. But I was begging God, please remove this burden inside of me that tells me I do not matter if this album doesn't do well. Wow. God, please get rid of this, God. I'm crying out to the Lord. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm That's powerful, so, man. Yeah. Man. Wow. Mic drop, cuz. Yeah. That, that's, that's good, bro. That's really good. You know, I, first of all, thank you, sir. Oh man, yeah, this, bro. this is great. Um, I, I, I'm as you were talking, I'm reminded that uh, one of the beautiful things I, I called I mean today on my my uh on my ride over here from church, and uh, I I was talking to him about how um when I think about why I still believe in Jesus, like what. Mm-hmm. what I'm asking the same questions that everybody else is asking. Like, uh, cats right. think that we are these unique, mm. you know what I'm saying? People that don't have the struggles. No, I want to know how God can exist, be good, and, and evil happen. Right. Yes. People yes. in my family are dying too. Yes. I'm getting sick too. Yeah. I, I have the same temptations that everyone else has. Right, I'm in the right. same world, same messy, the same women you see. Right. I, 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 I drive <laughs> past the same places. You right. Know what I'm, I'm asking the same questions that y'all are asking. Absolutely. So, uh, so I, when I'm thinking about answers to, 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 to answering you I'm also answering myself Like Ooh, why do I still believe That's so That good. is really good And, and, and I was telling Meansy I was like One, one of the reasons that, that I believe Is because Everyone's suffering Nobody has the answer To how to, to turn that off mm-hmm. right. Everyone Everyone mm-hmm. is going through this I, I, I believe that, that, that What we hear in mainstream hip hop yeah. Is a bunch of artists that decided to deal with their 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 PTSD, their anxiety, their yep. their ego, yep. their insecurities yep. with drugs and and debauchery. That's, that's right. That's and they're exactly just rapping it about it, and yep. they have to keep telling you about how good it was, how and how great it, it was, and what yeah. they have achieved. Yep. Not to just t- to flex on you, but to to try to, to talk themselves. to themselves. Yeah. This is better than everything. My life is the best in the world. I am just living. I'm just, I am on top of the world. I am flexing yes, on you. Right. Because they're having to, it's like a pep, every song is a pep talk. The yes. them in the mirror saying, yes. this is it. Because if, if this man. isn't, what is there? Then right. what is there? Right. Because the, the, the alternative is that there's nothing. There's and nothing. To embrace and to, the nothing would be the end of existence for right. them. Right. And what we, by God's grace, what we know, Mm-hmm. Is that there isn't nothing? That's right, absolutely. And 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 God is graciously allowing us to experience it, and then fall back in His arms mm. and have grace and the Spirit of God to walk us through the futility into purpose. That's right. right. That's good. And, and 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 this is this is why. I, but this is this is part of why I believe there's yeah. beauty in that. There's yeah. glory in that. Yeah. God is really catching us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we, we are awaiting the return of Jesus. Right. Yeah. And we've been waiting for a long, long time. And I'm not tired of waiting because Jesus hasn't come back in in, in physical form and glorified body and, and every eye has seen him and established yeah. his kingdom in the That's eschaton. Right. He hasn't done that. But Jesus is still here with us though. That's right. Yes. That's right. Like he comes to us regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get to experience through stories of restoration and redemption. Mm. Um, Oof. I always try to remind Cray of this and I, and I think it needs to be said more. We want to do this, you know, like, to give dudes their flowers. Yes, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, I talk about this with Ambassador. Yep. The show we did in Atlanta, Ambassador was in the audience, uh, on Glory Nights in the audience, looking at this. And after the show, you know, he's looking around at, at, at all these people here worshiping and, and we're doing these concerts. And it was my pleasure to go up to him afterwards and say, you did this. Yes, right. right. This That's is, right. Yes. And I say that's a crime. This is part of your yeah. legacy. This, 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 we're in a 7,000 square foot facility right now. You have done this. Facts. And not this, only that. We, we are, this is, this is and, a legacy. Mm-hmm. This is beautiful, Amen. bro. God has done this. Right. That's what keeps me believing, bro. Mm. And even without this facility, yeah. we're still in the faith also because of what y'all have done and yes. what you have done. There is no us without There is no us stop. without. So rebel. There's none of, there, yeah, that crazy. stuff does not exist. We would not be here if it right. was not for that. Right, God right. used that to sustain us. Right, 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 right. Us right. in the high school. Dude, we're in high school. Yeah, 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 for sure. Going to school, yeah. saying we are unashamed of the gospel. Right. In the midst of a time where every temptation was open right. to us. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. right you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that is because of what God used. Man, we are a part of the jewel that is in y'all crowns That's in heaven. That's right. And mm. that is full. That that isn't Woo. wind. 
that's not wind. That's actually sustenance. And can Absolutely. I say something to Go that? Ahead. I can affirm that. Yeah. Because I feel full when I see the work y'all are doing. Mm. Because it is fulfilling. It is satisfying to be able to sit. I, I was on a walk. I'm walking through Tampa. I'd walk so long today. I saw gentrification happen in front of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how, long was you, how, long was, how long was your walk? It was until I saw Ginger Face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a nice you. walk. All right. Gun stole, liquor stole, gun stole, liquor stole. Chipotle. Starbucks. Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But, but on my walk, I, um, I was praying and I, I, I was, you know, I started praying through, through what's called the Lord's Prayer mm. and I was convicted because the Lord's Prayer doesn't say, my father who is in heaven, hallowed be the, your name, uh, give me this day, yeah. my daily bread. Wow. Yeah. Uh, protect me, it yeah. says R. And I started praying for the city. I started praying for y'all. I love it. I started, and I was just crying because I was so grateful and full at what I'm seeing God do. I love yeah. it. And, what, and, and that's why I wanted to tell you that earlier when I was telling you about your, your scholarship, like, we need y'all. I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, I I look forward. I don't, I don't, the, I look forward to being just the voice in the ear of someone doing it. Yes, Ooh, I love that. Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. Like, oh, that's grandpa gave me game. Hey, but I, hey. Grandpa can't do that. Right, 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 right. Grandpa man. can't go travel the world like you traveling right now. Right. right. And, and man, you, I, I hear y'all saying like, man, you did this. Uh, let me say this though. It's refreshing and encouraging not to feel like I did something, uh. but to feel like, Lord, I just tried to be faithful and plant a seed. Yeah. yeah. Things grew I had no idea would grow. <laughs> wow, I'm yeah. just grateful y'all watered it, y'all cultivated it, it y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so grateful for that because we plant seeds every day. Yeah, man. Yeah. All of them don't, you know, some of them are olive trees. It's taking eight years to grow some of these things. Some <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm grateful for y'all more power. than you understand. That's power. Yeah. That's yeah. power. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Man. Once again, we want to thank Lecrae. Thank you, Lecrae. Yes. Man. The Goat Moore. Yes. For joining us uh, on Southside Rabbi. Uh, my heart is full. I'm encouraged. We, we're going to go turn up tonight uh, in the city. Uh, church clothes for the tour. Yeah. Let's go. Is coming to a city near you. <laughs> Hey, yes. Please, uh, there'll be a link where you can buy tickets, and um, and we want to continue to stand with 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 our brother. Thank you again, Crazy. Yes, Honor. thank you, man. Honor. My name is KB. I mean, I'm Lecrae. <laughs> this is Southside Rabbi. Yes. 